Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So once again, I'm here doing an empties, regrets and reviews video. And I have 10 products for you again today. I have no current idea what current number I'm on. It's just, I film these and then when I edit them, they finally go up. So yeah, I'm gonna dive straight in with. We have this. This is... Boots Expert Sensitive Gentle Cleansing Lotion. This was fantastic. You put some on a cotton pad, I literally just used to wipe some, leave it on my eye, then pull away and everything came off. I love the fact it was a lotion, um, but to be 100% true, <laughs> I've been dragged into the Maricela water world and I kind of stopped using it. So I basically just used this to get rid of it. Um, I would definitely recommend it. If you have sensitive skin, it's definitely worth a go. The only problem is it does have parabens in, um, so I do have to be extra careful. I couldn't use this every single day or my skin would flare up. I have to use it like probably once or twice a week at the most. But I did like it, so I would recommend it. However, I would not be purchasing it again. Next we have these. This. This was an ear treat for me. So once again, I could only use this once or twice a week because it contains parabens, which I was a little bit gutted about. But these are, you get 25 wipes and they come in a two pack and they're only a pound. And these are from a little place called Primark. You've probably heard of the place. If you haven't, they sell cheap clothes. They're branching out into quite a bit of stuff at the minute. But these are the deep cleansing facial wipes. Now what I loved about them was on one side of the wipe they had all like little bubbles so you could really scrub. Um, and I just thought they was absolutely fantastic and for the price you got 50 wipes for a quid you couldn't go wrong I'm currently using a different color in there at the minute uh, me and my friend actually bought a pack each and went half so we had bought two different types so I had one of these and one of hers um, but they're absolutely brilliant and they smell really nice and I was so impressed yes I would buy those again there's some in my drawer I'm pretty sure next time I'm going to Primark I will be picking some more up so if you are ever in Primark they're usually found at the tills these are really good for removing makeup, especially if you're being super lazy and you're in bed and you're like, oh, I can't bother. You just pull a wipe out and just... Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I've kind of run out of like all my makeup removing stuff all in one go. The last thing I've got to show you is this. <laughs> you've seen this before in one of my previous videos if you've watched it. This is the Garnier Skin Active Maricela Cleansing Water. It removes makeup, cleanses and soothes, no rinsing for eyes face, lips, and it's got no perfume in. This is freaking brilliant. Once again, you put it on a cotton pad, you hold it on your eye, you pull it off, and most of your mascara is gone. It doesn't take a lot of scrubbing to get rid of it. And once again, these are like really lazy. <laughs> you know, you can't be bothered, you just do it at the side of your bed. They're fantastic, I can't grumble. I absolutely love this stuff. I use this twice a day, and that is why I seem to be getting through so many. <laughs> yes, I would recommend it. Okay. The next three items that I've got for you. The first one is some Baptiste Instant Hair Refresh. I have gone through a stage, and I don't know if any of you ladies go through the same stage as me. I was washing my hair in the morning, and by six o'clock at night, my hair was looking greasy. And I was like, what the hell? And everyone said, stop washing your hair. And I was like, oh, I can't do that. And then I was talking to one of my friends, and she says she washes her hair on a Sunday night. On a Monday morning, she does it. On a Tuesday, it still looks fine. On a Wednesday, she might have to retouch it, um, but she'll only like straighten it. And then, on a Thursday, she has to wear it up. On a Friday, she has to wear it up because of the state of it. She says, but obviously I'll slightly change my week depending on what's happening. She says, but I like when she goes out because she's got such long thick hair, she likes to wear her hair up anyway. I was like, right, okay. And she says, by the Saturday, it looks million. But 9 to 10, I'm never really doing anything on Saturday. She says, but when she washes her hair, her hair, you can see the dirt come out of it. And I was like, but it never looks greasy. And she went, I know, that's why I only wash it once a week. So you're taking the mic. I was like, I'm not doing it anymore. So I went on to the dry shampoo hype. I have stopped washing my hair. <laughs> um, I washed it this morning, which is why it's looking a lovely today. But I am trying to stop the greasiness from coming. It's not really working, to be 100% truthful. Um, I was trying to like wash my hair once every four days. Um, but now I'll wash it as I want to. If I'm going to work, I will just dry shampoo it and put it up. I don't care how greasy it is. I will just dry shampoo it and put it up because I wear a baseball cap. So what difference does it make? And I've been getting through this stuff thick and fast. <laughs> so, yes. I would recommend this. I love this one. This is the Floral and Flirty Blush. It is freaking beautiful. I love it. 
I absolutely love it. So I've mentioned these in a previous video. I finally emptied my last Ted Baker. This is the W and I just thought I'd mention it. I love Ted Baker's perfumes, but I hate Ted Baker's perfumes. Some of them are amazing, some of them really are not. But I absolutely love this one. And since I got that little bottle just there, I pour them all in and I can spray them because I struggle putting them on my actual skin. They have to go on my clothes. And with a cap like this, I can't actually put it on my clothes because it marks them where it's actually touched. So I needed an actual spray. But I love this one. This one of the woman. That was really nice. Yes, I would recommend. No, I would not recommend. Depends on the smell. Ah, oh, it's gone. The next thing I'm throwing away is a nail polish. This is a beautiful Avon in the shade Sheer Bronze. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. However, I just don't do my own nails anymore. I treat myself, I go have them done. Um, they're all natural. They're all mine. I just have the um, acrylic overlays. On top, <laughs> I just have the acrylic overlays on top, and I love going and sitting there just for an hour once a month. It's amazing, and when I can have colour, I usually put an OPI on. I don't tend to reach for my Avon nail polishes anymore, and for that reason alone, I'm bidding it. Yes, I would recommend it. Yes, go treat yourself to an Avon nail polish. They're honestly quite good. I just I don't want them no more, and. I'm going to give that to somebody that will probably love it a lot more than me. So for that reason alone, it's ended up in my empties, regrets and reviews. I have four things left to share with you guys. The first one, in fact, we'll start with this one actually. I got this in a birch box. This was the foundation primer by Laura Mercier. I think that's how you say it. I love butchering names. And the idea of this is you put it on before your foundation and then you, when you set, you put your foundation on and your foundation is supposed to be a dream and mine was it looked flawless i couldn't fault my foundation it was amazing and then later on in the day i'd look and i'd be like why is it all like it was like it was separating and it did it all here all here and i mean usually it does it there especially if i blow my nose too many times a day and i've done this but it was all up my forehead all over my chin it just didn't sit right i used the whole thing and it took me ages to realize what the hell i was doing differently and why my foundation was not working for me and i've put it down to this because since i've not been using this it hasn't been happening i loved it to start off with i think if you're having photos taken for me personally this would be fantastic and then have your photos taken and then take it off but to wear all day no i just didn't love it and so for that reason that reason alone no i wouldn't recommend it i hated it i'm sorry i just i'm glad it's gone foundation i've emptied one yeah i know i emptied one last time as well so this is the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Foundation and it was in quite a dark shade as you can tell. It didn't really match my skin but if I only used a small amount, if I only wanted a small coverage and then really lightened under my eyes and my chin and my forehead, it was fine. However, I just don't love it as much as I love my MAC face and body foundation and I know my MAC is more expensive. I'm not saying it isn't but this was £7 for 30 mils. My MAC is £30 for 120 mil. You work it out, it in fact isn't that much more expensive. It's pennies. We're talking pence. You just have to buy it in bulk. <laughs> but yes, I liked it. I love my Mac more. I would recommend this, but I just love my Mac more. So the next item that's finally going in the bin is my Maybelline New York Gel Eyeliner. This is in the shade Black and what's left in there is actually dried up. It's disgusting. But when I say I've had it years, I am not over exaggerating. I have had this for so long. I've had this since they first come out <laughs> and I love it. Um, but it's finally empty. I'm currently on my black and gold one at the minute. I don't love it as much as just the black, but I'm living with it. I'm going to go buy another one of these, I think, because they are fantastic. Yes, I would recommend them 150,000%. I love it so much. And the last thing that I've got to share with you guys today, this is also out of my birch box. It is Their Real Benefit Mascara. Now, the only reason it looks like this, this is the little tester. The only reason why I've been in it is it dried up extremely fast. It was like there wasn't enough in it and it's just, it's gone a bit mank. So, it's going in the bin. 
but it's actually a really good mascara but then again i shouldn't really be shocked considering i love benefits roller lash i prefer the roller lash because i prefer the brush but if someone was to hand me a thousand of these huh, I'm gonna take those and be extremely happy. So that was my empties, regrets, and reviews number whatever we are on. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I love making these videos. I've said it before, I'm never gonna stop because I just love them. I love saving all my rubbish and then bidding them all in one day. Makes me happy, it makes me so happy. I'm sorry about the noises I keep making. My nose, my hay fever's like kicked in like ridiculous today. I don't know why. But yeah, I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It's going to appear here eventually. Click here to see one of my latest videos and click here if you'd like to see one of my videos that YouTube has selected for you. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Take care. I will see you in a few days with another video. And bye-bye.